This is the fly for today and this is just a kind of a generic shad tube fly and here's how you tie it. So here we go. Got kind of a heavier thread. This is a, I think it's a 6 that I usually tie with. So we're going to start right about there. And the way I start these tube flies, I start with a ball of thread and then everything will go forward of that. So we're going to trim that. Okay, so we got our ball of thread. I'm just going to brush some super glue on that. We'll let that dry and we'll come back to it. Okay, so we're going to use just uh, silver and gold. Use more gold than silver, so we'll start with the silver. And I get four strands. Clip that. I'm going to cut it in half. Let me tie that down. Then I just kind of hack at it with the scissors so it's uneven. Okay, so that's our silver. And the gold one. Okay, so we got a bit more of the gold. Got probably about eight strands. Double it over and cut it in half. Get it in. silver down. I'm going to do just kind of the same thing. Just hack away at it so I got it uneven. I'm going to clean it up up here. That's good. Next we got white bucktail. So we're going to do it on the top and on the bottom. So we'll start with the bottom. Actually, we'll start with the top. So I'm just going to take a comb and get the any fuzz out of it. Run the hair stacker. That's pretty good. So there's my top bundle.
And like I said, this is a thicker thread, so I can really bear down on it pretty good. I'm going to clean that up with the scissors. Okay. Now we're going to get a bundle for the bottom. stacker. This bucktail actually came out of one of the bucks I got with my bow, so I've been tying with it for a few years and I like to use all those materials. And again, same thing, I'm going to clean it up with the scissors all the way around. down, make it a little neater. Okay. Next up, I really like ostrich hurl, so we're going to use that for the We'll get about eight strands of that. And now I just want to make sure I get that hurl all covered with the thread. Okay, now we're going to build the head, and that's going to be craft fur. Start getting that together. And the craft fur goes in in bunches, so we're going to put in four bunches. One on the top, one on the side, one on the bottom, and one on the other side. So we'll get our craft fur going. So the craft fur goes in like this. And we're going to tie that in. So there's one bunch. So punch for the side. Just turn this. Here's a bunch for the bottom. There's a bunch for this side. I'm just 
just going to pull this all back. Like so. And I'm going to put a hair clip on it. So we got it all pulled back, got a hair clip on it. I'm going to clean up any stray fibers. And we got a couple. And I'm just going to bring my thread forward. And to whip finish it, we're going to do it by hand. I'm going to go like this. Get that hooked around. We'll make three wraps. Play around everything. There's two. There's three. Just pull that tight. And we just trim that. We're going to add some head cement. Okay, to do the head, I'm just going to take the scissors and make sure I got any little ball fibers cleaned up. Okay, so to finish this up, I'm just going to go around this with UV Cure. And you don't have to use a ton. Just using it, make a circle up near the head cement. We'll cure that. I'm going to turn it on its side. Bring this back a little bit. And I'm going to make a little platform for each eye. A pretty good drop. Cure that. Turn it over and do the other side. Got a little fuzz I want to clip out of there. And I'll take a drop.
Okay, and the last step is just gluing on the eyes, and we'll show you that in a minute. Last step, we're going to use holographic eyes. Just turn that on its side. Take the eye, and I'm going to get it on the, the needle. And Okay, so we took the eye, got it on the needle, and I'm just going to brush super glue on it. And I'll just get that on there. Okay, so we'll get the other one on. And let that all dry. And we'll come back and glue that up. Okay, so just to finish up the eyes, I come around them. UV cure. Let's kind of get a good blob of that on. And do it anywhere where there's any gaps. Do that with all both eyes. And I'll hold the eyes on there. So that's the basic fly. I just gotta trim this off right here and it's ready to fish. Neat fly. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe and help me grow the channel. Um, it really helps. If you have any questions or comments, please post them and I get back to everybody. Thanks for watching.